Okay, multitasking is a very, very huge issue issue with people with uh, AS. Now, not everybody's going to be the same on this, okay? Um, certain people are going to have more of an issue with this than others. And, of course, experience counts. If a person has been in a industry or in a certain position for a very long time, they may have gotten accustomed to certain duties that require multitasking. They may be able to multitask on on this thing over here very well, such as typing and talking on the phone at the same time, while doing something else, such as, I don't know, filing papers and, I don't know, something else at the same time. And, I, of course, I'm just thinking of, you know, office work. There's, of course, other things that people can do. Um, um, I don't know. I can't think of anything. I guess you could be presenting a, a sales seminar or something while doing something else at the same time. I don't know what it would be, but you get the idea. Experience counts, and for the person that doesn't have a lot of experience in something, they're probably not going to be able to uh, multitask very well. And it says here, individuals with AS may experience difficulties performing many tasks at one time. This difficulty could occur regardless of the similarity of tasks and the the ease or complexity of the tasks or the frequency of performing tasks. Separate tasks so that each can be completed at one time. Create a floor, flow chart of tasks that must be performed at the same time, carefully labeling or color coding each task in sequ sequential or preferential order. Ugh. Provide individualized, specialized training to help employee learn techniques for multitasking, com typing on the computer while talking on the phone. To me, that is a conflict of interest to the employer, because with me, I would think that if you're talking on the phone to a client or to another p person that works for the company and you need to get information, uh, to me, you know, I would, if I was the person on the other end, I would want that person to have, the, uh, I would want them to have my undivided attention. And if they're not listening to me and typing on the on the computer, how in the world are they listening to me? To me, if you're typing on the computer or doing something else, you're not listening to me. You're doing that other thing. Your your mind is what's in front of you, not what's on the phone, not what's in, not what's in your ear. So to me, if if I was a boss or a manager and I said you need to answer the phone and get that when Susie calls, you know what? If that's more important than what you're typing, then answer the phone. If what you're typing needs to get done and Susie can wait, then let Susie wait and Susie can call back or you can call Susie back or whoever it was. You know, and if you don't know who it is, they can call back if it's that important. When you're done with whatever you're doing, then you can call the person back. And, you know, I think just too many employers ask too much of people. Forget AS. Forget autism. Forget disabilities. Forget it all. Forget ADA. Employers ask too much of their employees in the Internet age, in this age of want it now, in this age of fast food, fast times, fast this, push a button, click, 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 Fios, DSL, now, now, now. Employers ask too much of people. We are not machines. We are people. Machines may be able to do 10, 15, 25 things. You can program it. Great. We are not machines. We are human beings. Humans make mistakes. And you're not going to want to, uh, you're not going to want to, uh, you know, uh, ask a person with AS to multitask because more than likely they will they will um they will um you know be concentrating on the task ahead of them especially if it's a project and they have they know they have 3 months to do it and now they know they have 1 month left to do it and maybe they know to, that maybe there's a meeting every month on the first monday of the month it's always at noon it's always an hour long they know it and they know to report through an email or through a phone call. They know to report to their project manager once a week. And they do that once a week. And then maybe the project manager and the um, and the employee, you know, with AS, maybe they 
communicate and they and they get the resources that they need and say, hey, do you need anything? Do you need anything? Is there anything I can do for you? And comes up, you know, January, February, March, three months up. Guess what? March 31st, didn't meet the deadline. You're over. You're going to be over budget. If you're over time, you're going to be over budget because remember, you got to pay your employees, right? So if they're, if you have employees that work 40 hours a week, but 10 hours of that week are devoted to project, and if they're paid according to the, the, the what you would call it, the contract, you know, if they're paid $100 a day to work on that project, and they're only supposed to work three months, and now they're, they're working in April, oh, they're working the 5th to 6th, the, the 12th to 13th, the 19th to 20th, the 20th to 27th, oh, well, a hundred dollars a day, count it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight hundred dollars. Now, if you have ten people on the project, well, <laughs> add it up. You know, and, and then you come by and I don't know. I'm going into giving people ample time to to you know give them a heads up, but you don't want to give them too much of a heads up. I'm telling you, this is what it's like. You're gonna face problems because if you come up to a person around the 25th of March and say hey I know we're behind schedule I know we're behind task you know you need these resources I'll give you the resources on April 1st you'll have everything you need you need it's the 25th and I just want to let you know I know you're working on this pro on this project right now but by the 5th of April you'll have another project to work on I know you're not done with it yet I know you're not done with this project but on the 5th of April you'll have another project to do that may be fine just saying that, but don't go into details about the project. Why? Because then the person's going to lose sight of the project he's already on. Because, man, you, you give me a project to do, you give me something to do, I will run with it. I will take the baton. This is the, the dog spanker right here. I will take the baton and I will run with it. I will run and I will go and go and go and go and go and go. Uh, but you, you give me, if you tell me, uh, uh, March 25th. Hey, I have a new project for you, and you're going to start on it the 5th. And this is the this is the details of it, and this is what you need to do. And this is blah, blah. I'm going to lose sight of the project that I'm on right now, and I'm going to be thinking of that project, and my mind's going to go two different ways, and I'm going to lose steam, and I'm going to be and I am going to make the project manager and everybody else more behind schedule because I will be working slower. So don't give too many details to up front. You just, you know, give them a heads up, say, hey, there's a new project coming up, you know, maybe a week in advance. There's a new project coming up, just want to let you know, I'll give you the details when you are done with this project. Don't worry about it. You're doing good on this project. Keep going. Encourage the person, and that's it. Do not ask them to work on two or three or four projects at one time, because it won't happen. If you ask that a person with autism or, or Asperger's syndrome, you're going to be asking for trouble, believe me, because the person will not be able to focus on two or three things. They're going to just run with that one thing, and they will do that one thing very well. And when they're done, you'll be happy because, you know, they'll, they'll be done with it, and then they'll take the next one, next project, and then the next one, and then the next one. And that's what you need to do. I'm going to post the links to this uh, JAN, the Job Accommodation Network, I'm going to post the links to this later so you can go there yourself. There's a tons and tons of information there. And I haven't gone on the website in a couple of years, so I have a feeling that's going to be uh, more stuff available to you if you want to look up things regarding uh, high-functioning autism or Asperger's syndrome.